Hello, and welcome to Joan Comrie's Feeding Tips. My name is Joan Comrie, and today's video is a continuation of our Picky Eating series. Today we're going to answer a specific question that was posed, which is, my child only eats carbs and veggies, do I need to be concerned? And first of all, any time that you feel like you have to ask, do I need to be concerned, as a mommy, you've got that mommy gut, you know that there's something going on that's probably not just quite right. So let's talk about things to look at. First of all, you want to understand what your child's feeding history is because children that are more selective about what they eat often have a history of maybe reflux or difficulty breastfeeding or bottle feeding early on or maybe the feeding transitions were difficult. So all of those things, or of course any other type of diagnosis, is going to increase your risk for feeding difficulties. The next thing you want to look at is, does my child have the skills to handle the food? So protein is one of the concerns that this mom had. Is, my, is it okay that my child's not eating protein? And the like quick answer to that is protein is really, really important. And you may have a child that has the energy level now and looks healthy, but if they're not getting a good variety of foods from all of the food groups, that definitely can be a concern for nutrition. So you can have a healthy looking kid that has good weight and maybe even good energy, but they may be undernourished or they may not have a good nutrient su supply. And at some point in their life, that could cause an issue for them. Um, the other thing is we want to make sure that the child has the ability to chew those foods. So one thing you might want to look at, because when kids don't want to eat protein. Proteins are one of the most complex foods that you can eat that require a high level or a more complex level of skills to completely chew it up to a, what's called a swallow safe bolus to where that food is chewed up to the point that the child feels comfortable swallowing. And meats in particular, a good source of protein, those are really complex foods and can cause some difficulty for children, whereas they're able to eat a good variety of other foods and they're able to swallow it down. They just don't have the precise skills that are required to eat things like meat, like chicken or foods like that. And those foods are not very forgiving. Your carbs are very forgiving. You chew your carbs even if you don't have precise chewing patterns or very complex chewing patterns. You can usually chew most carbs to the point where they dissolve with your saliva and they can be swallowed easily without any difficulty. Same thing with some of the vegetables. Now it depends on how the vegetables are cooked and which vegetables your child are, is willing to eat. But the vegetables can get smushed up to the point where over time, if they desensitize their gag, they're able to swallow chunks of it because they tend to be more soft and they won't poke your throat. Whereas the meats, are a lot more challenging because they tend to be drier and they're harder and need stronger tongue movements to swallow them completely so they don't get stuck in your throat or poke your throat when you swallow. Some of the other reasons that you want to look at is sort of is long-term development. I had in my office a while ago a very healthy looking soccer player. He was super adorable, very strong. He was the MVP, but he started deciding he didn't want to play soccer anymore because after the games they would win, they would go out for pizza or there was a lot of um, social activities related to soccer that ended up with food and because he was very restrictive in what he felt comfortable eating he started deciding that he didn't want to play soccer anymore, but really what it was is he didn't want his buddies to understand the difficulty that he was having with the food and he wouldn't eat the food um, that all his friends were eating because it was too hard for him to eat. And so it was then impacting his social and emotional development and that is definitely a reason to get help because we don't want our children to have any difficulty with the um, social or emotional part of their development. So 
The question is, I have a kid who only eats carbs and veggies, won't eat protein, do I need to be concerned? And I think the answer to that question is, if you're concerned about it, I think it's something that could um, be addressed by a professional. They can help you or get some good advice. Um, understanding that people will say, well, he looks healthy. You don't need to worry about it. A lot of kids don't eat um, healthy foods. Um, he'll grow out of it. No big deal. Um, I think it can be a little worrisome because some children don't just grow out of it. Some children then go on to have some social and emotional um, difficulties in their development that are related to their inability to chew the food to the point that they're comfortable with so that they can swallow. So those children would definitely be helped by um, having an expert look at their patterns and make sure that they are not avoiding those foods because they don't have the particular patterns. And in the 30 years that I have worked with infants and children with feeding and swallowing issues, the number one reason that children that I see choose not to eat the foods that are more healthy that their parents would like them to eat is because they don't have the skills and they're not comfortable with chewing those foods. It's not that they don't like the taste or they want to be a vegetarian. Um, kids are very good at avoiding things that they don't feel comfortable with and that they don't feel safe swallowing. So something definitely to be respectful of and to look a little bit further and see if you can definitely rule out that your child has a difficulty with the foods that he is avoiding. The other um, piece that we're going to talk about in our next series is things that we can do as parents so that we're not accidentally reinforcing a pattern of picky behaviors that we don't want to reinforce. And that will be on one of the next videos that we'll do. Thanks for listening. Please feel free to share this video with anyone that you feel it would be helpful with and have a great day. Thanks.